Salutations and welcome to Basic Public Speaking. I am your professor, Christy Thomas, and this is the video for week four, which are the dates January 30th through February 5th. How y'all been? How's the, how was your assessment? How's it going so far? Hopefully the pace of this is not too chaotic. off. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, we do have a speech due at the end of week four. So by midnight on February 5th, it's your storytelling song. You won't have any more speeches due for a few more for a few weeks. Well, right before spring break, you'll have one due. But I know it's like ah, there's so much going on. But we're just getting a we're building us a foundation, folks. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. This week's lessons are over choosing your speech topic slash purpose and speech research. There is a module labeled speech topic purpose and research in that. It's gonna look pretty, sorry if you see me look off to the side. I've got my work computer here and it's got all my notes and I like to pull up. When you pull up Blackboard for the module, it, it says choosing speech topic, purpose, and research. In it, you're gonna find a Word document for speech, t um, for topic and purpose and a PowerPoint for topic and purpose. Then there's gonna be a separate previously recorded video discussing choosing speech topic, and then a previously recorded video discussing speech purpose. And then there'll be another document discussing research and a PowerPoint for that as well, and another previously recorded docu uh, video lesson for that. So what you're gonna see is gonna look like a lot, a lot of information, but it's not too chaotic and it all goes together. This week's lessons and like the next few weeks lessons are all kind of just like together, but I separate them to make it easier to check out the information. So a total, you're going to have two Word documents, two PowerPoint presentations, and three video lessons of, from this week's lesson. So check those out. They all coincide and Choosing topic, purpose, and research are important steps when it comes to public speaking. Now, for the purpose of this class, I I give you genre. So, it's going to be informative. It's going to be persuasive. It's going to be celebratory. It's going to be storytelling. Da, 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 da. From there, you choose the topic and the purpose. And the topic is, okay, so I tell you it's an informative speech. The topic will be a how-to instructional speech. The purpose itself, the purpose which is kind of your speech thesis is why, what are you trying to tell us in this speech? So it could be, I am doing a informative speech or on how to bake brownies. Okay. We're, we're in the thick end of football season. That means the Super Bowl is coming up soon. So perhaps you make the best game day dip. And you wanna give us a video, you wanna do a speech on how to make the best, you know, Super Bowl party dip or, you know, sausage ball, or whatever the case may be here. That's the purpose, you know? So the, t the speech topic, the genre I give you, informative, your topic is a how-to instructional. Then the purpose would be, I will be informing you on how to create the tastiest sausage balls from scratch. Or I will be, by the end of this speech, you will be able to make this spinach artichoke dip, you know, whatever it is. The purpose is this specific, this is what we're doing. So your topic is, you know, how to or informative or in memory or tribute or a persuasive speech. And the purpose is the specific, the specifics of that topic. So if it's a, if I give you the genre of persuasive speech and your topic is why school days should be shorter, your purpose could be, I intend to inform the audience the benefits 
and of a shorter school day or I intend to tell and can persuade to shorten the school week from a five day week to a four day week or a three day week. What the benefits anyway. And then research is research. It's not just in public speaking, research comes in every single field there is. It just talks about the benefits and ways that you can research. Anyway, folks, that's this week's lesson. Also, like I said before, your first storytelling speech is due, and that's a song speech, and there's a whole module on the storytelling song speech that is the Word document, a previously recorded video lesson. I've had throat issues for the last few weeks, so that's why I didn't make a new video discussing the description, but it's it's the same. Just disregard any dates or anything that's in that video because obviously it's previously recorded. But I am recovering from strep and I'm just now getting, I've just now got my voice back. So <laughs> hopefully I will no longer have any crazy issues with my throat and voice and will be able to talk without too much of a hindrance from this point on. Um, that speech is due by midnight Sunday, February 5th. Okay, I got that out. And it's a song speech. And really, with storytelling speeches, just remember that you do not have outlines due. Nor is there really a, like, a time length requirement. But I'd really, 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 I want to stress this, really love to hear you speak for at least a minute. For this song, for this speech, you can have the song playing in the background. But I would also love for you to send or, along with the speech itself, provide a link to the song so that I can go and check out the song if I don't know, you know, and it's a great way for me to, you know, find new music. So for this song, I just want you to, for the speech, excuse me, for the storytelling speech, pick a song, any song that resonates with you. It can bring a memory of a person or a time and place or a moment in time, or it can help, uh, it can evoke emotions or it can help with the emotions that you're experiencing. Why does that song resonate with you? I have songs that resonate with me. There's the song, You Are My Sunshine. All three of my, I sang it to all three of the Wallings, and I sung it to my queens when they were in the Nick Union. I have it tattooed on my back with their names. It's a song that resonates with me deeply. Uh, there's also a song that I hear around Christmas time. It's a, a Beautiful Star of Bethlehem, and it just automatically puts me in moment remembrance of my grandmother. Then there's songs that I hear, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was playing when I was a senior in high school, or this song reminds me of summer of 2008 or wow that song I remember at dances when I was in middle school you know they they just bring you back to that moment in time now we also listen to songs that just it's pure joy and pure happiness in our world it makes us smile we sing along they're just great not to age myself terribly but anytime I hear Hanson's and Bob to me it's like sunshine because it it was became popular that spring and summer when they released it, and it's just it's just it's just a bop, uh -huh. and bop. See what I did there? I'm corny. I'm sorry. <laughs> My kids are home today, so I am seeking funniness from different venues. Anyway, then we have songs that we listen to when we're sad, and we want to fill all the fills. You know, this is what I listen to when I'm down. And it could be, maybe you listen to the song to pick you up, or maybe you want to feel the feel, so the song aids in that emotion, you know. Or, there's songs we listen to when we're mad. You're just, something crazy's happened, or you just woke up in a grumpy mood, and we all do. It happens. And you just need that moment. You need that moment to release, and it could just be a moment, a song that you get to scream with, or yell at, or it just helps you release that emotion inside. Or maybe you have songs that you clean rage to, or just clean to. Like, if I'm doing a deep cleaning, there's music involved, because there's also performance. I'm singing and I'm dancing, and I'm also cleaning. It goes with the territory, I think, at times. Anyway, purpose of this speech, the storytelling speech. Find a song, any song. I don't care what the song is. Tell me why it resonates with you. Why do you connect with that song? Is it because of a memory of a specific person? Is it because of a memory of a specific time? Is it because it just brings you joy? Does it bring you, does it aid you in your feels? 
Does it evoke emotion? Does it make you happy? Does it make you sad? Does it make you angry? Does it calm you down? Does it allow you to fully feel anger or happiness or joy or sadness or confusion or does it help you space out? Does it just help you just go into a chilled world? Uh, you know, whatever, whatever. It's just, all it has to do is mean something to you. That's all it's got to do. So you can have it playing in the background. You don't have to, not a requirement. Remember, I want to see your face during the, during speeches. I want to see your face. So record yourself as I am recording myself for this video. Record yourself. Speeches must be recorded. And then submit it, but your face. You know, from about the way I do speeches, from, you know, from about here up. I, you don't have to do full body. You don't have to, you know, be crazy. But I want, I need to see your space, your face and stuff. But just pick a song, a song that resonates with you and tell me why it resonates with you. Why does it, why do you connect with it? What is it about that song? And then just provide a link for the song so that I can listen to it. I may know the song. I may not know the song. I may really love the song. I mean, it may not be my cup of tea, but I love listening to songs. And I love this storytelling speech because I feel like I really get... You know, it's like I'm more in depth. And the purpose, again, of storytelling speeches is just for you to find a comfort in talking and just finding a calm and a relaxation in recording these videos for me. All right. So, again, this week's lessons is over speech, topic, purpose, and research. Don't be intimidated when you open up the link and there's quite a few little connectors. You... I'm sure you're catching on. I like to put all the information out there. So check that out because again, building blocks. Research comes in handy, not just for a speech class, but every class and subject. And this just breaks down ways that we can choose speech topic and how to narrow down the purpose of said speech topics. Then you have your storytelling speech is due by Sunday, February 5th by midnight. Again, that module is already open and had, I opened it about Wednesday of the previous week so it's open so if you haven't checked out that module yet i highly suggest that you do check it out it's got the word document it's got a previously recorded video because again my voice has been not in the best place the last few weeks dealing with throat issues and strep throat and all that good stuff so check that out and then there's the link so no outline or anything like that is due no real time requirement. Although I'd really love to hear you talk for at least a minute. That would be fabulous. And I am really, I'm behind on grading your intro speeches because I felt just really kind of not great at the beginning of last week. I'm just now starting to feel a little bit more with it, so to speak. So I will get those graded, folks. And But the few that I've watched, I, I'm really enjoying these speeches and getting to know you all. So... If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope that you have an amazing week. Thanks so much. Bye.